here today with the Rezzo Summit with Dober player Mike Aldridge. Uh, Mike was playing with the Seldom Scene for many years. He has also toured with Emmy Lou Harris and Lyle Lovett. He is a Grammy Award winner, a Fret Magazine's Dobro Player of the Year, and most recently received IBMA's Lifetime Achievement Award. So Mike, tell us how you got started uh, playing music, how you got introduced to it. Uh, I had an uncle that played uh, Dobro with Jimmy Rogers in, mm -hmm. the, in the 1920s. He was the first guy that, that played in the studio with yeah. Jimmy Rogers. So I grew up listening to him. He played steel guitar, uh, and this was before the invention of a resophonic guitar. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's what really my in first introduction to it. That's fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit more about your career, what, what you've been um, doing. Well, I, I started in a band called Emerson and Waldron in the late 60s, mm -hmm. and then I went to uh, uh, some friends of mine and I started a band called The Seldom Scene, and I, I stayed there for 24 years. Wow. And um, then I uh, was in a band called Chesapeake for a while, and then Aldridge Bennett and Goodrow, and then a Good Deal Bluegrass Band, and then uh, Darren Beachley and the Legends of the Potomac, and that's where I am now. Do you have any good stories um, about the early days of the seldom scene? Uh, I, I, the th thing that comes to mind is when uh, John Duffy had retired from uh, the, the Country Gentleman when we started this, the seldom scene, mm -hmm. and we were working a little club in Maryland called the Red Fox Inn, and because he had come out of retirement and it was a brand new sound mm -hmm. that we had, uh, the first night was a, a pretty much a, a sold out crowd. And by the, the second week, people were bringing their own chairs wow. and sitting in the aisle. So it was it was a successful band right Absolutely. off the bat. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mike, I know you use a different tuning um, than the standard tuning that most players use. Tell us more about that. Uh, I would say, from for the most part, I use standard G tuning, okay. just two G B D G B D. But on many songs that uh, come, trying to come up with different ideas, I tune uh, to a minor. You know, I'll lower the the third string only, mm -hmm. and sometimes I lower the, the I'm, I'm sorry the second string and the fifth string okay. to get a, a G minor tuning. And then if, if, if songs go, uh, oh, and another thing I came up with was tuning the, the low G down to an E, which hmm. gives you the relative minor right at the major chord. And I also um, came up with some tunings for an eight string hmm. dobro, which uh, got into the sixth uh, tuning. So it's a little bit of everything. Well, how often do you use these different types of tunings? Uh, a lot. Uh, I would say, um, you know, a third of the time, okay. a third of my playing is on these different tunings. Cool. <laughs> Since we're here at the Rezzo Summit, uh, tell us a little bit more about this unique event. 
Uh, it's very unique in that the uh, the instructors here are the top players in the industry. Of course. Uh, um, uh, all the session guys, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it's usually I think it's about a uh, hundred students I mm -hmm. think, and uh, this is the f the fourth year that mm -hmm. we've done this. I've done th uh, three of them. Um, it, it's just an unbelievable opportunity. I can't think of any th other school that's like it for mm -hmm. any instrument. You know, that's this uh, concentration of of a professional teachers. Absolutely. <laughs> Mike, tell us about the guitar that you're holding right now. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, Mike Aldridge Resophonic guitar. That, Very uh, nice. Uh, it's made by Paul Beard mm -hmm. in Hagerstown, Maryland. And to my ear, uh, it's the best guitar on the market. Um, he was very kind in, uh, in letting me give as much input as I could mm -hmm. uh, in putting this to together and getting the tone that, that I, I wanted out sure. of it. And uh, it's been very good to me. Absolutely. <laughs> and we actually have Paul right here with us today. Hello. Thank you so much for coming. My pleasure. This year I'm celebrating my 25th year in the business. Um, I've actually been making guitars. Uh, started out in my basement and um, uh, I can't believe 25 years has gone by, but what I have here is a new model of um, the Mike Aldridge Resophonic. And uh, this is a very special guitar. Uh, Mike worked very closely with me uh, to develop this. It's um, a larger body. It has a, a bass reflex baffle inside. And um, Mike plays every one of these guitars and signs off on them. Um, it's been a, a, a pleasure working with him. And, and it is a unique instrument. Uh, here's a, a lick that, uh, that I do a lot. I, come, I use my thumb a lot more than a lot of players do. Something like. Uh... <laughs> This is uh, kind of uh, almost a pedal steel, that lick there. So I'm working out of a D. And, and use the A7 on the way back to the A. And then this lick is a just thumb and middle finger. And notice that I'm lifting the bar to cut off the notes and make them clean. Well, Mike, tell us um, a little bit more about the other things that you're doing. Um, I, I teach at home uh, mm -hmm. some, and, and I, I play with different artists, sure. uh, recording sessions, and I, I uh, do a few personal appearances mm -hmm. with different bands. Um, I'm on a new album uh, with Lloyd Green, a okay. uh, pedal steel player here in Nashville, yeah. who's always been one of my heroes since, you know, for the last 30 years. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty busy, Absolutely. even though I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm really winding down, mm -hmm. you know, but um, I plan on staying real bit busy. I, and uh, I have a website, mikealders.com, where people can get in touch with me and, and you know, set up lessons, yeah. that kind of thing. Well, Mike, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you so much. Um, and showing us around the Rezo Summit. This is a beautiful place here in Nashville, yeah, Tennessee. I love it. Thank you. Thank you.